Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 23. Hey, we're in the workbook Business Math Chapter 3. You can click on my YouTube channel, then my college website link, and download this. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Chapter 3 website. Hey, rules 4%. We went over this last uh, video in our PDFs. There they are there with some description of what we're about to do. Here it is. This is what gets many people in trouble in the working world when it comes to percents. We have some numbers. There's a 2 and there's a 0 0.02. And our goal is to format this as 2%. Notice we put the number in the cell first, and then we're going to add formatting. All right, let's do this. Let's click here, Control-1, add percentage. And there we go. Looks good. 2%. But here's where people get in trouble. They're like, boop, boop, boop. And they put a 2 in the cell. They control 1, or however they add their percentage format, and they just freak out. They're like, 200%? What's that? We know from this class, sliding the decimal is what got them into trouble, right? I'm going to control Z, which is undo. Undo is up there, too. Um, if we have a decimal right here, it's right there. So I go, zoop, zoop, two decimals, and that's what gets me the uh, the 200%. So don't forget, don't type the 2 in first. If you're going to type numbers in first, you've got to put 0 0.02. This one right here, put that in first and then format it. There we go. All right, now there's another way to do it. You can format the cells first. I'm going to highlight both of these cells, Control 1, and I'm going to format them with two decimal places before I type anything. Now, here's where Excel went a little bit wrong. Notice we had a 2 and a 0.2. We put the numbers in first and format them, and they gave us different numbers. But watch this. When you pre-format it, in this cell right here, I'm going to type the number 2. Oh, but because it's pre-formatted, that percent symbol pops up. It's telling you this is already pre-formatted, and all you do is hit tab. It per works perfectly. But watch this. Over here, I'm going to type a decimal. No percentage pops up, but when you hit enter, it gets formatted correctly. So that is, and I have it all written over there very clearly. If you pre-format it, it doesn't matter if you type a 2 or a 0 .02. They both work. Now, the third way to do it is to format as you type. Two, this, this, these cells are not pre-formatted. I'm going to type 2.00%. As soon as I do that, the number 2 is not going into the cell. The number 0 0.02 is going into the cell. You don't believe it? Control 1 and go back to general. And you can see that's what got stored. I'm going to click Cancel. Now, you could do any percent you want. You could do 0.75%. You could type, and that was formatting as you type, right? Control, um, and I'll do another one here. How about 255%? What number actually got stored in the cell? That's right, 2.55. You don't believe it? Control 1, go back to general. Ding, 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 there it is. I'm going to click Cancel. Now, um, I'm going to put a uh, 0 0.02 here. So I want to show you that when we're multiplying, um, and I'm actually going to put a number 2 right here. The number 2 and the number, um, and this formatted symbolic representation of the number 2, underneath both have the number 2, right? This, this you can see it here, you can't, but it's still there. Now, over time, here's your hourly rate, and your contract says you get twice your hourly rate when you work overtime. So how would you calculate that? You'd say equals this times, and it doesn't matter which one of you, which one of these you pick. You could click the 200% and hit uh, Control Enter. It gives you 30. Or you could type equals your hourly rate times your number 2. Both of them will work just fine. It gives you 30 bucks. And then our tax, of course, would be equals round. And I'm going to say uh, this times. And again, it doesn't matter if you pick your 2% or your number. Um, if the tax rate is 2%, I'm going to click this right here. And then there you go. Uh, I forgot the last argument right here. It's even prompting me. It wants a comma. And it says, hey, please help me. you got to tell me number of digits to round to. Since we're rounding to the penny, we put a 2. 
And there it is, 60 cents. If I format this with currency, we can see the tax is 66. So those are some rules. Those are the three different things. Numbers first, then format. Format first, then um, type in the number in. Hey, I have to correct that. That's format first, then uh, type number. And then finally, we saw a third way, format as you type. All right, we'll see you next business math video.